All right, so this is going to be our first Photoshop assignment. As you can see, we've loaded up Photoshop. I'm running 2017. Don't be alarmed. It's going to be basically the same thing as 2018. We've got all of our tools over here. We're going to go small steps in our tools today, okay? So first of all, what I want you to do is I want to go to File and New. It's going to bring up our dialog box. Now, mine might look a slight bit different because I'm on a Mac and you're on a PC. Don't worry about that. What we want to do is we want to create a print document that's letter sized. Okay, so eight and a half inches over here, 11 inches in height. Okay, all these other options are fine. If you don't see inches, just make sure you change from picas, points, pixels, whatever it is, to inches. Click Create, and it's going to open our artboard. Okay, this is our canvas in Photoshop. Then what I want to do is come up here to File and Place Embedded. So we're placing embedded that picture that we downloaded from this assignment. It's Ollie Torch. It's the Olympic torch being lit earlier this week. And it's going to put our image in here. And what we can do is come in here and just stretch it out so that we get a good look at it at the very top. Okay? Now, what we're going to be working on today is cutting and pasting things in images. Okay? So in Photoshop, it can be a little bit new. So what we want to do Let's make sure that we have our layer with our Ollie Torch selected. This is our image layer selected. Okay, and we want to use our selection tool, our rectangular selection tool up here. It's top right. If you have your tool stacked, it's the second tool. If you have your tools doubled up, it's the third or the second tool on the top. So then you just want to come in and make about a one inch by one inch selection. It doesn't have to be perfect of something interesting in the image. And then we're going to take our layer panel and we're going to go just like this, new layer. And in our new layer, we're going to make sure that it's not selected. We're going to go back and select our Ollie Torch photo and we're going to go Control C or Command C on the Mac. And then in the layer, we're going to go Control V. Okay, now it doesn't look like it did anything, but I promise you it did. If you look way close down here, you can see just a little piece in this new layer one. And what we're going to do is take this layer, since layer one is selected, and drag it over here. So now we have this interesting piece cut out of the image. So what you're going to do is do that same thing seven more times. All right, and I'm going to do it right now just really quickly, okay? What you want to make sure that you got right here is that when you're making a selection, you want to make sure that the original image is selected. Okay? Without that being selected, you're going to have nothing selected. So it'll look like this. Control C, nothing pops up because the image wasn't selected. If I want to select the image, just like this now, I'm going to go Control C, and I will go Control V again. You'll notice I have a new layer, and I use the Move tool now. To move this back in. So the next set of images I'm going to go pretty quick with. Uh, if you want to learn how to do this again, just rewind the video. But you're going to make sure that you have eight images when you get done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to make a text box so that we can add some text to it. And you'll see that when I create this text box, it automatically creates a text layer. And you can see that the text layer is different because it has that T there. And what I'm going to do is just 
make sure I'm using any kind of text. It doesn't matter. You might not have this text on yours, but you know that's something that you can fix by downloading text. Um, and I'm just going to type in Olympic torch. Is that how you spell torch? Torch looks good to me. If not, don't shoot the messenger. You know. Okay. And then the last thing we want to do now that we have our text in here, we're going to come right under the right and click right on the background layer. We're going to clear it, create a new layer. Okay. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to find our paint bucket tool, which is in the gradient tool area, the paint bucket tool. And you can take in here and select the color. And as long as your empty layer that's right above background is selected, you can just click in it. Boom. We've colored our whole background in. And now this is the final product. So you should have something that looks similar to this to turn in. Once you're ready to turn it in, we're going to come up to the very top. We're going to click File. We're going to click Export. And we're going to click Export As. From there, you get this Export As dialog box. And you want to make sure that it, you have JPEG selected, JPG. Our quality needs to be 100. The height and width are automatic based on our canvas size. And then click Export All. Once you do that, it's going to pop up with where do you want to save it, what name do you want to save it as. I'm just going to save it as Olympic underscore last name. Okay, dot JPG. We click Export in the folder we want to export it. And then you can take and turn that file in. Okay, so this is what it would look like. It's just an image that we created. All right, then you can turn it in and you're good to go. Thanks, guys.